the unveiling of a full-scale mock-up of the unmanned single-engine Su-75 at the Dubai Air Show in November 2025 revived discussions concerning the future of lightweight stealth combat aircraft within Russia's aerospace forces. Although the Su-75 Checkmate was originally introduced as an economical fifth-generation manned fighter designed for export markets, the reveal of its unmanned version indicates the start of a new phase of experimentation. It demonstrates that Russian designers are exploring not only traditional aircraft concepts, but also the transformation of stealth fighters into completely autonomous platforms. The Dubai debut marked the initial public exhibition of the Su-75 in a configuration completely free of a cockpit. This represents a notable design decision, affirming that the concept of developing a UAV based on the Su-75 architecture is not speculative, but a tangible research path actively pursued by Sukhoi. Although the project remains in the mock-up phase, the display raises a critical question. Is the unmanned Su-75 a viable future platform for Russia's aerospace forces, or merely a conceptual prototype intended to evaluate technologies for the coming decade? To fully understand the potential development of the unmanned Su-75, it is necessary to examine the principles inherited from the original piloted design. The Su-75 was conceived as a cost-effective, lightweight stealth fighter whose primary advantages included a single high-performance engine, a reduced radar cross-section, modular avionics, and a spacious internal weapons compartment large enough to carry several thousand kilograms of ordnance. The aircraft's estimated takeoff weight of roughly 18 metric tons, equivalent to approximately 18,000 kilograms, combined with its sizable internal volume for weapons, positioned the Su-75 as a more economical alternative to heavier fifth-generation fighters. Its projected 7.4-ton combat payload, approximately 7,400 kilograms, distributed across internal bays designed to reduce radar visibility, distinguished it from other light fighters. Developers stated that the Su-75 would carry advanced guided air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons, including beyond-visual-range missiles, precision bombs, and anti-ship munitions. Powered by the AL-41F1 engine family used in Russia's top-tier fighters, the Su-75 was expected to reach speeds of up to 2,400 km per hour. Designers also predicted the integration of an active, electronically scanned array radar capable of engaging up to six targets simultaneously. The aircraft's maximum projected range of 2,900 kilometers, nearly 3,000 kilometers, and a combat radius nearing 1,500 kilometers provide substantial operational reach for a single-engine stealth platform. These specifications form the technical foundation for the unmanned Su-75, as the UAV employs the same airframe, aerodynamic characteristics, and propulsion system. Removing the pilot does not alter the aircraft's central goal, to function as a fast, maneuverable, low-observable strike or support platform capable of operating deep inside contested airspace. While transforming the Su-75 into a UAV, several components inevitably change while others remain identical. In its unmanned configuration, the aircraft eliminates the cockpit, oxygen systems, displays, ejection seat, and emergency hardware. This reduction in equipment lowers weight and frees internal space, enabling larger fuel reserves or additional avionics. Without a pilot, the engineering focus shifts entirely toward digital controls and autonomous flight management. Sukhoi has not disclosed detailed specifications for the UAV version, but based on standard aerospace principles, most aerodynamic and propulsion features would be identical to the manned Su-75. The aircraft would maintain its stealth contours, internal weapons bays, and single-engine performance profile. In short, the unmanned variant is not a new airframe. It is an adaptation of the Checkmate platform optimized for autonomous missions. Certain Russian media outlets claimed that the UAV could achieve a flight range of up to 6,000 kilometers. Nearly 6,000 kilometers is roughly the distance from Moscow across Europe 
and deep into the North Atlantic. However, this appears highly speculative and would only be feasible at subsonic speeds with minimal payload in a reconnaissance role. When equipped with weapons and flown in realistic combat profiles, the true operational range would likely be similar to that of the manned version. Because no flight tests have begun, the 6,000-kilometer figure should be treated as a theoretical maximum rather than a practical capability. What is certain is that the unmanned configuration enables mission types that the manned Su-75 cannot perform efficiently. Without a pilot, the aircraft can sustain extremely long patrols, operate deep inside hostile airspace, or perform high-risk suppression of enemy air defenses. It can also conduct autonomous reconnaissance and networked group operations with manned fighters or other drones. From a strategic standpoint, an unmanned Su-75 aligns with global trends. Leading military powers are transitioning toward loyal wingman UAVs, autonomous strike aircraft, and unmanned stealth platforms that work alongside or independently of manned jets. By modifying an existing airframe to function as a UAV, Sukhoi reduces development time and cost while accelerating the integration of advanced autonomous systems. Industrial logic is equally important. Creating a family of aircraft based on a common airframe reduces manufacturing complexity and improves supply chain efficiency. If the Su-75 evolves into a series of UAV variants, including strike, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare models, many avionics modules, software systems, and structural components can be shared. This reduces costs, simplifies maintenance training, and speeds up production. International interest strengthens the concept further. The United Arab Emirates has shown interest in the manned Su-75, and Russia continues to seek foreign partners, indirectly benefiting the UAV variant by expanding the platform's financial and industrial base. Thus, the unmanned Su-75 is not an isolated experiment, but a potential element of a larger multivariant ecosystem. Several operational roles appear plausible for the unmanned Su-75. One primary role is long-range reconnaissance, where a stealth UAV can operate without risking pilot lives. Another is deep penetration strike missions against heavily defended areas. A pilotless stealth aircraft can be used more aggressively than a crewed jet due to reduced political and operational risk. Network group operations also emerge as a major possibility. Using advanced data links and artificial intelligence, an unmanned Su-75 could act as a forward sensor, a decoy, a missile carrier, or even a command node within a distributed aerial formation. These ideas reflect the global shift toward distributed and cooperative air combat. The large internal weapons bay, large enough to hold several hundred kilograms of missiles or specialized payloads, is particularly suitable for UAV operations. It could deploy air-to-air -air missiles, precision bombs, loitering munitions, or electronic warfare modules. Despite its potential, the unmanned Su-75 faces several challenges. The most significant issue is the lack of flight testing. Without prototypes in the air, all performance claims remain theoretical. Another challenge is the development of advanced autonomous flight systems and secure long-range communications resilient to electronic warfare. These require substantial investment and technical expertise. Industrial and financial uncertainties also persist. Mass production of the piloted Su-75 has not begun and its development timeline has experienced multiple delays. Without consistent funding, the UAV variant risks remaining a demonstrator rather than evolving into a fully operational system. Export restrictions and geopolitical complexities further complicate potential international collaboration. A realistic five-year outlook suggests that the unmanned Su-75 will function mainly as a technology development platform. Sukhoi is expected to refine its avionics framework test autonomous systems in laboratories, and possibly build one or two flying prototypes. Even if it never enters mass production, the lessons learned will feed into future Russian stealth aircraft programs.
The unmanned Su-75 fits into a broader trend shaping sixth-generation aircraft globally. These future fighters are expected to be optionally manned or fully autonomous, with AI-driven mission systems, modular payloads, and advanced stealth features. Technologies tested on the unmanned Su-75, including adaptive mission software and artificial intelligence-based control algorithms, will likely influence these next-generation designs. In final assessment, the unmanned Su-75 stands as one of the most intriguing theoretical developments in modern Russian aviation. Though still in its early stages, it demonstrates Sukhoi's intention to expand the checkmate concept from a piloted fighter into an autonomous combat system. While uncertainties remain regarding funding, timelines, and performance, the project signals a major shift in design philosophy. Future Russian combat aircraft may emerge as integrated families of manned and unmanned platforms sharing a common technological lineage. Even if the unmanned Su-75 does not enter service soon, the technologies it helps develop are likely to play a critical role in shaping Russia's future aerospace capabilities. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us